advantage. is up guys welcome to another video so before i get into a little bit of lifting today i thought i'd give a shout out to the boys over at union jacked who have just dropped their debut t-shirt for their new brand um, and as a couple of lads that do powerlifting, I thought, yeah, I'm going to show my support and snag up one of these tees. But what I was not ready for is the actual quality of the t-shirt itself. So the material is a spandex and cotton mix, which um, for any of you that have ever snagged up one of my t-shirts in the past, that is what I went for as well, because I genuinely think that is the best uh, mix of material for a gym shirt, just because it gives a little bit more of a, a compression feel. Um, but the actual design of the t-shirt is unbelievable with the tape in the arms obviously every lifter wants a little bit of taper in the arm to show off the guns but it's just the smaller attention to detail so the fact that you get a unique card to say which uh, number t-shirt you got um, the little Union Jack that you get on the side of the arm the embroidery is unbelievable and the sort of printing with the Union Jack and the established sign it's just small little attention to details that um, people that have just started a clothing brand don't always pay attention to um, it would be easy to take the small route out or the easy route out and just get in a big bulk of t-shirts and just whacking a logo on it they haven't done this they've done it the proper way uh, and it's an unbelievable t-shirt and I'm really looking forward to going and training in it today um, I am gonna put a link down below if you want to go and snag one up I think it is fairly limited with what they've got um, in terms of how many units they've actually produced so go and snag one up quickly before they're all gone so another thing that I really like is the way they've actually marketed their t-shirt so um, for any of you that know and have watched my channel long enough I actually did try and sort of set up my own Phoenix Fitness brand a couple of years ago in terms of like merchandise and um, t-shirts to sell but um, I didn't really have the sort of business nous at the time to really market it and get it out there I just sort of um, made the product made the t-shirts and then sort of tried to sell them on like Instagram and stuff but that wasn't really the best way to do it but the way they've done it with things like uh, influencer packages um, and just getting sort of the word out there and getting people to sort of share is a really really good business tactic um, and the way they've sort of built it up and everything uh, made it really exciting for the launch so um, from the sort of a business point of view I thought that was really good as well and that really got my attention which is yeah ultimately why I bought it and I'm glad I did you couldn't people pay dividends what's the point of being rich when your family ain't it's like flying first class on a crashing plane dinners with the same niggas just higher bills and all the models himalaya they got higher hills no we're all alone in this together anyway i'm on the way to the gym um gonna be doing some squats and bench today got 200 kilos for a triple so nothing crazy uh, and i think 147 on the bench maybe um so it should be quite an easy session uh but it's the end of last week because you're gonna be watching this next week because i cut last week's video short uh so yeah just gonna be a nice quick session today and then i'll see you on tuesday for some heavy deadlifts
So rather annoyingly, uh, yesterday's session resulted in a little bit of pain again in my shoulder, hence why I didn't have the best bench session. I was meant to work up to 142, only managed a really slow 140, which was a, a little bit annoying. So today has consisted of a lot of rehab stuff, as you'd have just seen, a lot of banded work and uh, mobility work and activation work, the stuff that I sort of uh, talked about in my last video, and uh, continuing the recovery with a nice walk. So I've already done a two mile walk today, uh, and then finishing off with a, a barbecue, so lots of protein in the form of meat, and maybe a couple of beers. Welcome to Saturday. It's my last training session of the week. Um, we've got 205 for a triple on squats and I think potentially 147 to 150 on the bench, but um, we'll just play that by ear as always with the bench at the moment. Uh, but before I devour my pre-workout meal and go and train, I thought I'd do a quick debrief on Tuesday's session because it was a little bit of an interesting one. So we worked up to 265 kilos for two singles on the deadlifts but there was a limiting factor and that limiting factor was my grip. Um, so weirdly, even 245, I could feel my grip was slipping. Uh, and I did message Matt saying, my grip feels terrible today. And I put it down to uh, being a little bit tight in my shoulders uh, and my supinating hand wasn't able to sort of get round enough to really properly grip the bar. So I thought that was the problem. Um, but then I did a little bit of a warm up, some external rotation of my arm and I could get into position, but yet my grip was still kind of failing me, even with 255. Um, so he made the good point, and it was a fairly obvious point, that we're in the midst of a second heat wave at the moment. And in the gym, it was extremely hot, very, very humid. I was, I was sweating buckets, um, and he made the point that my hands were just probably really sweaty. And it's true, because I was putting on liquid chalk, 
and it wasn't properly drying. And I was like, why is this not properly drying? Or it would dry it and then it would start getting a bit like mushy. Um, so that was a clear sign that it was just really hot in the gym, um, too humid, and my hands were just slipping a little bit. So um, as long as that is the limiting factor, then I should be okay. Because if I'm failing to lock out 265 because of my grip, um, then that's a little bit worrying seeing as I'm a month out from a competition where I'm hoping to potentially deadlift more than that. If grip is the issue, then I'm not really going to fix my grip in a month, I don't think. So um, hopefully uh, that is the only thing uh, that it is and it is just the fact that it's really hot. So we'll find out kind of in the next few weeks where I start to build up my deadlifts again as the weather gets a little bit cooler. But um, yeah, I thought it was fairly interesting that that was the sort of limiting factor. I didn't even take into account that that would be the issue going into that session. I just thought 265 would just be really heavy and I'd lose it because of strength. Um, but yeah, on the second set, I had to use straps because I just didn't want to uh, risk failing it or even, I don't know, like tearing a callus or something because the grip was slipping. Um, so we just played it safe with the 265. But that did kind of fuck me up because the next day my lower back was just in bits. But uh we're feeling good now, we're feeling fairly recovered for today's session. Um, the uh, sorry about that, my camera decided to randomly turn itself off, so I was just gonna go over my pre-workout meal before I train today. So we've got three pieces of toast, five eggs, five pieces of bacon, one of which is blended up with a bit of avocado, we've got a cup of char, we've got a glass of water for hydration, so you know the drill, gonna eat this, and then gonna go and train. My training sessions seem to be getting more and more predictable. Tuesdays I start off with deadlifts, that normally feels pretty good, and then that follows with a really good bench session. Thursdays, SSB, that's generally quite good. And then Saturday, squats always feel a little bit dodgy, and then I always have a terrible bench session. And I don't know why it is, but it seems like it's been that way for about a month. But, um, you know, just kind of have to accept it. Um, I'm not really gonna be able to change too much going forward now, because the comp is literally a month away. Um, so I'm just gonna have to do what I can. Um, Matt did say that uh, he just wanted me to execute a good single on bench today, so he wasn't too fussed with what the numbers were. He just wanted to make sure I was benching relatively pain-free uh, and well. So that's all I could do today. That's what I did. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the week's training. Um, I'm just heading over to a place called... Where am I going? I literally have no idea where I'm going. Thornbury. I'm going to a place called... You can't see me also. It's a Randy Sam. It is. I don't feel like Randy Sam anymore. No? I feel like fat, depressed, middle-aged dad. Well, you know. The shoe fits, wear it. <laughs> How is training going then? Twice a week. Two 45 minute sessions if I'm lucky. Nah, that's what you've got to do though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally just like to train Monday and Wednesday. I thought, oh, I'll go down Friday. No time Friday. No time Saturday. Maybe tomorrow. Fair play. Well, we'll get a session in soon. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I think this is a good uh, time to wrap up the video while we've got a few pints in hand and a nice bit of recovery. Um, is this recovery? Got... Is pints recovery? No, it's definitely not. No. Also, I am now 108 kilos. I'm meant to be weighing in at 105 kilos in three weeks' time in my comp. Water weight, it's fine. Water weight, yeah. Water weight, it's fine. Right, anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.